Compressed gases, very uh, potentially dangerous things, not to be messed with. I'm uh, playing with a new welder today, uh, this is a cylinder of argon, and uh, I couldn't find an argon regulator, a CO2 regulator, so I'm using an oxygen one, and it's perfectly okay. You can use an oxygen regulator on inert gases, but not the other way around, because oxygen is very inert. And just while I'm chuntering on about regulators, uh, even though they have the same threads, you mustn't mix uh, acetylene uh, and propane regs, because uh, they're different gases and the uh, uh, sealing components inside the regs are made out of different materials and the gases can <coughs> rot them away with uh, disastrous results. Now I'll just tell you a little story. Many years ago uh, I had an oxygen regulator that leaked a bit, uh, which was okay when you were welding, but uh, once you turn the tor torch off, you uh, go and turn the torch back on and the uh, pressure's built up in the pipe and it blows the flame out. And it's really annoying. So I took the regulator apart and uh, the rubber seal was a bit perished. So I scraped it out and uh, replaced it with a, a piece of uh, rubber. Put the regulator back together, welded for a quarter of an hour, patted myself on the back several times about how clever I was, and uh, then went away and did something else for an hour. I came back, and uh, just to prove how clever I was, I turned on the uh, oxygen bottle again, and boom! There was an explosion which made my uh, ears ring for a couple of days and uh, a piece of stainless steel about the size of a 2-2 bullet shot out of the uh, back of the regulator straight through the brass and uh, went through two layers of wood which were the garage uh, wall at the time. Fortunately it didn't come in my direction. Now what had happened was the uh, oxygen uh, which is very volatile, uh, had mixed with the components of the uh, seal that I had used and created an explosive mixture. Boom! Very dangerous. So do not use uh, a, a CO2 or argon regulator for oxygen, but it's perfectly okay to do it the other way around. Now the one thing to watch out for is the uh, output gauge. Uh, this hasn't even got one, so uh, that's rather irrelevant. But oxygen regulators are normally calibrated in uh, pounds per square inch uh, or bars like this one. Um, and CO2 or inert gas regs are normally calibrated uh, with a flow rate in uh, litres per minute like this one, or cubic feet per year or whatever. A uh, bit of a joke really because it's still a pressure gauge not a flow gauge. That's a bit of a nonsense because it's a pressure regulator too and uh, flow rate's affected by uh, the capacity of the regulator, the length of the hose, uh, the thickness of the hose, all those things. But just for my own amusement uh, I'm going to compare pressure with litres per minute. Uh, uh, and these uh, pressure, cheap uh, pressure gauges are appalling things, very inaccurate. Uh, I've tried three different ones and they all read slightly differently, so I'm going with the middle one. So I'll turn the gas on. So look. Starting at naught, we turn it up to 2 litres per minute, reads just over a tenth of a bar. 4 litres per minute. <coughs> at six tenths of a bar, or thereabouts. Six litres per minute, a one and a tenth bars. Eight litres per minute, 1.7 bar. And 10 litres per minute, 2.3 bar. So now we know nothing. Apart from there is approximately 
uh, 13 pounds a square inch in a bar so I don't know whether those figures are going to help anybody or not but uh, if they do I'd very much appreciate it if you'd uh, subscribe to my channel it won't cost you anything and it does help me out a bit thank you